we're gonna uh, do the calibration for the fresh door for Tim Hortons. First thing is, just on a side note, this tube here is supposed to be clear, very, very clear. Bun Canada says this should be easy to keep clear and clean. It's not so easy, but in this case, the team actually put this into boiling hot water and discolored it forever. That's about a $35 cost. And so you really don't want to be doing that. So try your best to keep that nice and clean. So in terms of calibrating, we have to calibrate our, our spray head, and then we also have to calibrate bypass according to the instructions. So let's do the first one. So over here, just there's a hidden button, I'm gonna press and hold, calibration select. So we press original blend, original blend, and there it is, spray head select. Original blend, so that's three times original blend, and then we're gonna say yes here. Our server is ready. So yes, no, yes, no, okay. And now we are ready to go. Okay, now that we've done the 60 seconds, we're gonna empty the entire amount into our stainless, uh, tipping it forward so that we can make sure we get every bit out. And as you can imagine, this is not nearly as accurate as some of the other machines because there will always be a little bit of water left in the thing. Okay, so we got the water out, and now I teared this and I put it onto ounces. We'll see if it works. Okay, it says I've got too much. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna put a bit of water out and do half and half. So I've got 29.4, we'll say. And then we'll do this. 13. So it tells us that we got 42.4 ounces. And up here, it thought that it actually gave us 40. So we're gonna bump this up to 42.4. Now it knows how much it gave us. And we're gonna say, we're done. Now I'm gonna press, a, okay, bypass done. That's the old. And now we're gonna, buy, we're gonna do the, the bypass calibration. Select it, container ready, yes. Original, okay, so this is actually calibrating a different portion of the brew situation here called the bypass Okay, so now that we've got the calibration amount it thinks it gave us 39.5 So we're going to move this forward a bit tilt it We could try and read the amount in this graduated cylinder, but it's just not accurate enough. So like we did the last time, we're gonna dump off a bit so that our scale doesn't go into error. And we got 21.8. And then the rest. We've got 13.08. Now, when we did our calculation, we came up with about 35 ounces, and we weren't really happy with that. Don't know if something went wrong, so we're gonna quickly do the bypass calibration one more time. Calibration. And now we're back to bypass. Container ready, yes. There we go. Okay, so what we did here, we did the bypass calibration a second time. And when I read in here, I can see clearly, not that you can, 
that I'm sitting at 40, just above 40. So we've already gone past here, but what I did is I bumped up the number from 39.5 to 40.1, and now it's happy. So I'm finished my calibration, and I'm just gonna press this to bring myself back to the normal screen, and we're done.